but how will these cues impact our own markets? There is so much that we have to track today, the RBI policy as well. We have our research team joining in with what the trade setup is looking like, the stocks that are likely to be in the news, and the action from the FNO space as well. Hey guys, a very good morning to all of you and happy Friday as well. But uh, Harmaz, let me come across to you first up. What is the market setup looking like today? Well, if only a happy Friday was enough to lend some support <laughs> to the markets. But then <laughs> it was yesterday what happened was because of HDFC Bank was the reason why the Nifty ended where it did. It managed to make new records but came off equally swiftly after that. An 80-point gain on the Nifty, 76 coming from HDFC Bank. So it shows that it was the single-handedly pulled the Nifty higher. And it was that reason itself that pushed the Nifty Bank higher as well. Above that mark of 48,000, we went up to 48,250, then came off those levels. We are close to record highs but today will be a very key trading session to watch and also to follow up if there is a follow up buying in HDFC bank as well because the ADR in the US listed shares ended 5% higher overnight now for the week the nifty is up a percent the nifty bank is up 2% but the real outperformance has come from the broader markets because the mid cap index is up 3.5% this week and the small cap index is up over 6% and if that happens if it continues the way it has that will be the best week that has had since January of 2021 so the big question is the same that will the other heavyweights step up in case HDFC Bank does not perform considering the RBI policy today. It, they didn't step up yesterday so today will be a key session and the RBI policy as I mentioned is the big trigger to watch out for in today's session along with the non-farm payrolls in the US that will be reported later this evening. The US market handover was extremely weak. The Dow Jones had its worst session since March of 2023 and the, uh, what further dented sentiments were statements from the Minneapolis Fed President Neil Kashkari who said that he's wondering whether the Fed would even consider cutting interest rates if at all the inflation continues to remain sticky. The Brent crude is also trading over $90 a barrel and it's all reflecting in the Asian markets that are selling off and the gift nifty is also indicating a slightly weak start for our own markets. Back to you. That's right. Uh, crude oil prices, they continue to remain a cause of worry. Thank you, Hormas, for all those cues. But yes, uh, a lot of quarter four updates and a lot of stocks in focus as well. Mahamakshi has that list for us. Good morning. Well, good morning, Sonal. Let me first start off with Bajaj Finance. Strong update coming in from the company. FY24, AUM has managed to grow by almost 34%, despite the restrictions imposed on the company by the RBI, FBA. Uh, in fact, uh, in the deposit book was also up almost 35%, and the new loans were up almost 4% for the company. Pandan Bank reported a growth of almost 18% in its loans and advances. The total deposits growth, however, has outpaced the growth in advances up nearly 25%, as has been the case with most uh, banking updates this time around. The CASA ratio, as a result, has seen an improvement sequentially to 37.1%. RBL Bank also reported a similar trend. Deposits up almost 22%. Advances were up nearly 19%. And the CASA ratio has improved sequentially to 35.2%. Indescent Bank deposit growth growth rate came in slightly lower as compared to the growth in advances. Deposits grew by 14% while the advances grew by 18%. CASA ratio as a result deteriorated sequentially to 37.9%. Prestige Estate has acquired nearly 21 acres of land in Bengaluru for almost 450 crores. Uh, they will be developing a residential project spanning almost 4 million square feet out here and the projected GDV of this land parcel is almost 4,500 crores. Nestle also on our radar and that is because NCDRC has dismissed the 2015 complaint in favour of the company. The government was seeking compensation of 285 crores odd and punitive damages of almost 355 crores. And lastly, we'll also focus on Hero Motor Corp. The Income Tax Department has issued notice of total 605 crores, including interest for six assessment years. Okay, all right. Thank you so much for that, Vamakshi. Uh, well, let's talk about all the cues from the FNO space now. Mangnam is joining us with all those cues. Good morning, Mangnam. Good morning. So it's uh, it's an option writer's market. You know, the market's been in a range, the Nifty. And yesterday as well, on weekly option, options expiry day, the Nifty actually, uh, you know, closed near 22,500. And those were uh, the straddles that were most active in trade as well. But it did test the range on both sides. The Nifty high yesterday, 22,619, and the low yesterday, 22,304, told you that there was volatility. The key index to watch today would be the Nifty Bank on two uh, uh, reasons. The first one, of course, is the RBI policy that impacts the bank. And secondly, the spike in HDFC Bank that we saw in HDFC Bank ADR overnight. And that's something that, you know, the FIs are positioning themselves for as well. FIs actually sold the Nifty and they bought Nifty Bank. Close to around 1750 crores worth selling in the Nifty and 900 crores worth buying in the Nifty Bank futures. The Nifty Bank itself is 1.2% away from a fresh record high. Let's see whether it happens or not. 
and then the 50,000 mark is just about 4% away. The Nifty Bank, if it has to move to a record high, what does this do to the Nifty? It just takes the range higher. So 22,600 calls are extremely active and at the lower end, 22,500 puts are active as well. So what this means is that the Nifty range has moved higher from 22,300 to 22,500 to about 22,400 to 22,700. So that's an important range to watch out for. The Nifty moving higher, but still in a bit of a range. What can take this range further up? if uh, the institutions buy in the cash market. So we had both the FIs and CI, uh, DIS sell in the cash market yesterday. We'll keep an eye out on that. Also watch out for HDFC Bank once again. There was short covering in index futures and uh, HDFC Bank stock futures. And Vedanta saw a lot of long positions being added. Okay, all right. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us and prepping us up for this trading day ahead.